you about how to change your impeller on your two-stroke Yamaha outboard saltwater series. I have a 200 uh, horsepower 1998 saltwater series. It's an S200 TXRW, and uh, it's pretty simple. So let me get started. Pretty much, you're gonna have to loosen the six bolts around the bottom of the lower unit, and then you're gonna have one bolt that's underneath the uh, zinc anode trim tab. If you don't take off the trim tab, you're not gonna be able to get to that bolt. An issue you might have is that uh, one of the bolts might get stuck, or luckily I, uh, all my bolts were greased with, with the Yama Lube from the prior time that I had done the service. But the one on the uh, anode was stuck. It was oxidized, it wasn't coming off. So I had to heat it up, and I used a heat gun, and uh, it took me five or 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, I heated it up, came right off. So that's a potential issue you're gonna have. Let me show you what parts you're gonna need to get. This is the diagram for the lower unit of my Yamaha. When I went to the parts store, the lady recommended I only get the O-ring and the impeller. I should have listened to her because that's all I ever needed. I ended up getting the whole kit for $82 when I should have only spent $28 on the impeller and a few extra dollars on this O-ring that goes underneath the water pump housing. Keep in mind, you're gonna have three washers, two flat, one on the top and one on the bottom, and the one in the middle is wavy. When you put them back together, just remember, the two washers that are flat sandwich the wavy one in the middle. These two sleeves uh, come off, they just pull off really easy. Put everything back in the same order you took it off. I never replaced anything below the plate, I didn't need to. There was no water intrusion. It was that simple. I've already started breaking the, uh, the bolts, taking them off. I've already taken one off. And um, I've done this once before on a smaller engine assisting a buddy of mine so it was my first time doing it on this engine i think the last time i had somebody do this for me they charged me like eight eight hundred bucks so yeah i got the impeller kit with all the washers and all the goodies for 80 bucks which i thought is a lot of money though the impeller by itself is 28 dollars Well, the first thing I did is I took off the, uh, the propeller, and that was kind of easy. Now I'm taking these bolts off, and surprisingly enough, they're easy to take off. By the way, for this engine, it requires a 14 millimeter socket and wrench. And it was really easy, because the last guy that put these on, not me, um, put them on with the Yama Lube. So the bolts are, good shape. Okay, I just undid the six bolts and but I ran into some trouble. The um, this piece right here, the, uh, right the trim tab. Yeah, the trim tab. This piece right here, the trim tab. Woo! Oh, yeah, I had it on there. It would not come out. And it would not come out. So I had to use a heat gun to heat the bolt up. Once I heated the bolt up, and I got it really hot, then it came out like no problem. It's, it's amazing. That actually works. I, I never tried it. But all right, so we got, we got uh, the trim tab off. And then when we got the trim tab off, there was a one last bolt holding this lower unit on here okay so now we're gonna take this off nice and gently okay apparently like, also this is the uh, speedometer yeah, this is the miles per hour yeah uh, tab which yeah. has got to come go. out yeah gotta remember to put that back in we're gonna slide this off and we're gonna go. put it over here on the horse <laughs> We are taking the water pump off. Water pump housing. And it was real simple. I mean, really, uh, once we got these six bolts off, once we got these six bolts off here, and this additional bolt here, which was under the trim tab, uh, here's the mile per hour hose here. Let's see how we do this. 
so you're gonna have to pry it out. Gotta get the screwdriver nose so there's a screwdriver there. Here it is. There we go. Well, I don't see any, anything else here. No, that's it. No other, like, normally there's like some springs no, or something. No, that's it. There's there they are. They're down yeah, there. It's in good condition, huh? They're down there. Let me take it. It's actually in good condition. A little bend, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit simple. Yeah, but it's in good condition, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's I really didn't need anything else. That, that means that you don't have any any pieces in the line. So you don't have to worry about it. You just take it out. And... That's nice and simple. This is an easy one. The hunger is harder. Do you remember the order it's in? Here, at this remember. one. I'm going to put it in put this it, order. Put it right away. Oh. Here to there to there. Oh, look, this is, seems to be broken. Yeah, part, need, maybe part of your more. kit. You got the kit. Yeah. So one's wavy, one's wavy, yeah. and one is straight. All right, just keep in mind when removing the impeller, there's a key that keeps it in place and helps it spin. So remember when you put the impeller back to make sure that the impeller, the little groove in the impeller fits over the key. Otherwise your impeller won't spin. The shaft and the key, together with the key with the groove is what caused the impeller to spin. All right, so we just put the water pump housing back on with a new impeller. Uh, I miss videotaping that whole that whole ordeal, which was pretty easy. Essentially, I just put everything back with the key in the right place. You know, in the order that it came out. Um, Turn this there were two uh, flat spacers and one wavy spacer that goes in the middle, and um, and, the, and, did this and then I just put the, uh, the impeller. put the impeller in there, and, twist this to and I twisted you. the shaft sure as I was pushing the impeller casing down. Yeah. So which help, which was really easy to get the impeller right. in. I also put Yama lube. I put some Yama lube on the impeller blades and it slipped right in. It slipped right in. So I put the Yama lube on the impeller blade. I lowered the, uh, the water pump housing over the blades and I twisted the shaft. I twisted the shaft as I pushed down on the housing. It was, it was, a, it was easy peasy, like squeezy. Nice and easy. Now we're just tightening up the bolts. Put this. Uh, we did put some oil here on the uh, on the gear uh, on the gear splines and up here on the crank shaft splines. Uh, put some oil there. So when it goes in, it goes in nice and easy. Put some oil there on the speedometer on the speedometer. Um, piece of plastic there. Now we're gonna put her back in and then assemble her. Okay, I've uh, I've raised the um, the lower unit back into the uh, the engine, into the top part of the unit. What I've done is the bottom half was spaced out from the top half a little bit. You see a little gap? Well, it was a lot bigger, like this big. And so what I did is I just got one bolt in there, and got another one, and got another one, and threaded them in like once or twice. And then I've just been going around like this for the last 15 minutes, trying to get it to go up into the unit evenly. Now I did remember to put in the speedometer uh, uh, rubber hose and connect that. No, so far so good. It's, this is, hasn't been that difficult. I could probably do this again if I had to in about 15, I'm oh, sorry, about half an hour, about 15 minutes. There you have it. Now I'm going to just tighten them up. Put the last bolt in there under the uh, trim tab. And we are good to go. We're done with the lower unit. One thing I've done to every one of these bolts is I've put, see that grease on there? That's Yama Lube. Doesn't have to be Yama Lube. 
but they do make a good product. And um, then that'll go right in there. See, there's two holes, one's from the trim tab and then one's for this last bolt here. So get the wrench on there. Tighten her up.